Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. John here, and you're on the Sky One Videos channel. This is my new battery charger. So, I got this one. This is supposed to be one of these super intelligent ones. ISDT. It's an N series. They make them so that they charge 8 batteries, 16, 24... Unfortunately, the only one they had in stock was the 8, so I bought the 8. And, um, yeah, so this is it. Um, yeah, it does different functions. It, it'll charge, it'll discharge, it'll do a report of the, of the batteries. Um, it's called an analysis. It can also do something called uh, activate. Now, I didn't know, I guess I should hide the Duracell logos and... I didn't know with brand new batteries that you have to uh, activate them, cycle them. I just thought you just start using them, right? And as you use them, you'll cycle. But apparently these nickel metal high drives, and these are weird batteries because they don't go one. A regular AA battery is 1.5 volts. These things are like 1.25 volts, like an old NICAD. They don't quite give you the same voltage as the others. So like when you put them in stuff. All of a sudden it says low battery. It seems like that comes up a little earlier than the other ones. So anyway, so I bought, I spent all this money on these freaking batteries. I put them in the charger that I had and uh, the thing started, they started like getting really hot and I was afraid to charge them. I, you know, when they get that hot, you don't want to touch them. But that ain't right. So I got this charger and I can set the current rate and I noticed that, see how it says 0.7 amps. Um... At one amp, they start getting hot. At five, at point five or five hundred milliamps, uh, yeah, they don't get hot, but it takes like forever for this thing to do its thing. So anyway, uh, I got it going at seven hundred milliamps. It's doing what's called an activation. It's going to discharge the batteries, charge the batteries. It's what's in the it's in charge mode right now, uh, and that's going to discharge them again. It cycles through and it tells me what I get for. Uh, milliamp hours it reads a few other things the ohms uh, the temperature there's a little uh chart there's like a little chart of uh, the voltage i got all these because i've got this little portable uh, low power ham radio rig qrp rig and i wanted to have a set of batteries for it and then i got these battery packs they they're eight cell packs and if you put 1.5 volt batteries in there an eight cell is fine Gives you the 12 volts you need. The problem is these are rechargeable, so I actually need 10 cells. So I had to order another set of packs that are 10 cells. So I actually need uh, 20 of these. And uh, these are 2400 milliamp hour uh, batteries. I think they're gonna work really good. I got a, like, a little solar panel, and uh, it'll work great with this little rig here. I wanna bring this thing uh, like to the beach or whatever operation in the park or whatnot so anyway just to show you some of the stuff here I'm, I'm running a cycle so i don't want to do too much on here but i can go from cell to cell so that's like uh that's battery number seven right there tells me the milliamp hour the voltage it's currently at and uh, anyway uh when these things are charged it'll go green when it's done this is going to take an awful long time to do the activation i really wish i had the bigger one because i got so many batteries i need to charge and I do want to do this full activation cycle so it goes up, down, up, down. Um, yeah, so this is it. I'm still learning it. I know that it has a USB port and it's programmable. You can update the firmware on it. Can you believe this? Um, it charges all different types of cells, whether it's a nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, um, I don't know, all sorts of different batteries. And there's, you got an auto mode. When you put it in, it knows what kind of battery it is. I don't know how it does that, but pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to let this finish, and then I'll show you some more features of this thing. All right, so all the cells are charged. I get a green tree here. Let's just see. These things are rated pretty high. All right, 
right, just um, got this new set of batteries in here, and uh, I like this uh, this feature. Although I can, you know, there's different modes. There's charge, there's discharge, there's activate, which does a bunch of cycles in a row. And um, there's also one where you can do charge. And normally when you put a battery in a charger, no matter where you start at, half full or quarter full or even dead, it's just going to charge it to the top. Um, this has a feature where I can tell it to charge, but it has activate in there, which is um, basically what it's going to do is when I put the battery in, first thing it does, and it's doing it right now, it's discharging the battery. So if my battery, and these batteries were pretty full, so it's going to take a little while, but um, if the battery is, uh, is, you know, like half charged, it's going to completely discharge it before it charges it up. And somebody told me that's the best thing to do on these um, nickel metal hydrides is to discharge it before you fully charge it. I don't know if it's true or not. I, I don't think it can hurt. So um, that's what I'm doing now. That way they all get a full charge. Um, and I think the point, the issue comes in where if it's 85% or 90% and you put it in the charger, I think it overheats them if you don't discharge it first. So also, um, I run at 700 milliamps. I can set that, and like it's 45C, so it's pretty warm. I don't, I don't want to go one amp. I think uh, 500 is pretty good, but um, takes way too long. So I, I had to set for 700. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool charger. Pretty happy with it so far. Everything's been uh, working out. I told it to charge some other batteries, a different set. I told it to do the uh, charge with the activate, and it discharged them and fully charged them. I checked in the middle of the night, and it was still uh, still charging, so it had finished the discharge, still charging. That was like four or five hours in, but they were they were like eighty something percent. So. But when it finished in the morning, I looked at it, and these things got were at like 2,800 milliamp hours. They were way up there, so only rated at 2,400 milliamp hours. So, yeah, so uh, everything seemed to be pretty good with this. Um, it's still in the discharge. It's been, you can see, three hours and 43 minutes. I think by the end of the day today, they will be fully charged and uh, and ready to go. So... Um, these again, these are from my uh, my little ham radio, my portable ham radio. So, all right, looks like it's just finishing up. I've got one cell here, number eight, that's not done yet. Let's take a look at number eight. Oh, it's cranking. Look at that, twenty-seven hundred seventy-six milliamp hours. I think it's only rated at uh, twenty-five hundred. 400 <clears throat> I think it shows the internal resistance temperature or anything else should switch over any second now but there you go yeah this battery charges pretty nice to uh, get to see what's actually going on with the cells instead of wondering you know well, what's wrong with this cell? Why is this one not charging? Why do I get an error on this one? So I was wondering what would happen if I added another cell. So this one just went in. So this one needs to discharge. But this one here, number 8 slot, is still um, charging. So look at the milliamp hour, 2812, see it's still climbing, 2813, 2814, but if I go to 1, right, this one is negative, so it's 92% and it's discharging. This is how they come on the package, they're, they come charged but they're not 100%, so I'm putting these guys in. Got them in. One, two, and three. So, <clears throat> one, two, and three. 
one through four, sorry. So number four showing nickel, it knows that it's a nickel metal hydride, it automatically detects that. It's uh, discharging. Here's number three. So that one's 89%, it's discharging. So I got this set so that it discharges before it charges, which I think is a good idea. Let me go to number eight. Seven. It's still charging. Yeah, still charging. So yeah, this is a very cool uh, battery charger. Okay, I wasn't sure, but there's a little tab there, so I can put it in AAA mode. So I just put this on here. See, it's 82 percent. It looks like I don't know what that mode is. Let's see. Looks like it's charging. Task is charge. Activation charge is disabled. Hmm. <clears throat> I'd like to cycle it. Well, let's just put it in the charge mode. Battery type says auto. I thought it would say, let's see. Yeah, so although it was in auto mode, it did detect that it was a nickel metal hydride. So it's just going to top it off, but um, I think I want to cycle this thing, so I'm going to tell it. Um, Battery type, I'm going to say uh, nickel metal hydride. Activation charge, I'm going to say, whoops. Yes, I want that. Now it's going negative. I wasn't sure if I had to pull the battery out and put it back in, but now it's going negative. So, okay, I got uh, another cell I'm going to pop in here. Put it in uh, slot two. Automatically selects it. And it's going to be a negative 700 milliamps. Alright, when it's done, it's going to give me some uh, some readings here. Now, I can add another battery in, as long as it's the same type. Like, if it's uh, if I've got it set for nickel metal hydride, I can plug in, in any one of these slots, another battery. And let's say these two here are discharging, and I take a, I don't know, like a double A off the shelf. Um, well, actually, let's say that these ones have already discharged, and they're in the charge cycle. I take another one off the shelf, I plug it in there, this one will start discharging, the other other ones will continue to charge. So they know individually on each channel uh, where in the cycle it is, so they can start at different times. So like some chargers, you, I, you know, I don't know what happens, you know, you most chargers they just, you plug something in and it just tops off, but this one here, I can tell it to do that activation charge, so it'll discharge first, which I think is better. I got some big numbers out of these batteries too. I on my my double A's. Um, I think that said they were 2,500 milliamp hour batteries, maybe 2,400. Um, I read like 2,700 on some, 2,800 on the others. So this thing does a really nice job at charging, and uh, again, it monitors the temperature as well. So yeah, um, it's a pretty cool charger. I'm pretty happy with it. I just got it. I just uh, charged a number of cells um, because I've got a use cell for my little shortwave uh, ham radio thing and I wanted to have a little battery pack that can be solar solar powered and that sort of thing with some rechargeable cells. 
So uh, I know a lot of people use the LiPo batteries and all, but um, you know, if I ever go travel somewhere, the, they don't like those kind of batteries. So nickel metal hydride is kind of a safer battery, and that's what I'm going with right now. So they're lower voltage though, you know, so it's kind of a pain. Like if I put these cells in my uh, remote on my Roku TV, it'll, um, after like, I don't know, a month, a little less than a month, it'll start saying that they're low. And uh, they're really not low. They just it's, the voltage is a little lower than a regular alkaline. So it, everything's based on uh, an alkaline cell, which is 1.5. So anyway, uh, yeah, pretty cool battery charger. This thing here, eight cell. It's about yeah, I don't know, it was like 50 something bucks. Um, inflation. Who knows what it'll be next week? But they've got bigger ones. They got the eight. They got the 16. The 24. The 24 is really cool. Um, I kind of wish I had a larger one, but uh, they didn't have them in stock. They had the eight, eight cell in stock, and you know, I think the eight will be uh, will do my. If I have to do two sets of uh, batteries, that's okay. You know, if I got to run it through twice, I'll be all right. So uh, anyway, uh, tell me what you think. If you got any questions, comment, put it in the description, and I uh, hope I answered everything for you. But I don't know a whole lot about this thing, but I can tell you it's pretty cool. I can bounce. See, you look over on the left, it'll tell me that that first cell. At 46 percent and I can I can arrow up to it and I can get a full display of it too so if I had eight batteries in here I can get a kind of a glimpse of what's going on so yeah pretty cool unit all right talk to you later oh if this uh, if you find this helpful uh, please give me a thumbs up I bought this on Amazon by the way all right later